Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Today I'm going to show you what I feel are, well at least for me, my, my 10 favorite or 10 best uh, third albums by a band or solo artist that I have in my collection. And you know, I'm missing some really great third albums. There's a, quite a few of them actually. So not making the top 10 includes Frank Zappa's and the Mothers of Inventions We're Only In It For The Money, Grand Funk Railroad's Closer To Home, Queen's Sheer Heart Attack, and even Genesis, Foxtrot. Although, with a band like Genesis, some people include, you know, that very first album from Genesis to Revelation, and I don't think the band includes that as their first album, but, you know, but anyway, great albums. Just not in my top ten. So, yeah, all ten of these are great, but they are ranked from my least favorite of these ten to my favorite. Number ten, the great third album by The Clash, London Calling. Even though I love, you know, I love the debut, some people don't care so much for Give Them Enough Rope, but I love that album too. So this is just the third really strong album in a row by them. Number 10. Number 9. So their second album that was released, they didn't even know anything about it being released. <laughs> and uh, they didn't even play on all of the songs, but they certainly played on the Monkees' Headquarters, their third album, and probably my favorite Monkees album. Number eight, their first album is one of the greatest debuts ever. Their second album was as good as the second one. The third one, a little different than the first two, but I feel it's just as good. Led Zeppelin 3. And yes, I even love Hats Off to Roy Harper. I know some Led Zeppelin fans don't care for that song. Okay, number four. I have all of this solo artist's albums. The first one was okay, I guess. The second one is probably one of his most popular, uh, most loved. I do like it a lot, but it's his third one that I consider one of his greatest. Lou Reed, Berlin. Such an uplifting album. <laughs> no, it's, it's kind of kind of depressing to listen to, but Especially for Glenn Kellaway from the basement, but <laughs> I love this album. Number seven, I've talked about this album a lot. It is my favorite by this band, and it is their third album. The first two were excellent too. Talking Heads, Fear of Music. Okay, number five. Their, their first two albums are excellent, 10 out of 10s. And they followed it up with a third album that is, I don't know, I think for most people it would be the favorite of the first three, but it's pretty even for me. But still, this is an awesome album by Yes. The Yes album. Number four, this band, I have, once again, I have their whole discography, their first album, one of my favorite debut albums of all time, the follow-up, just as good, if not better, and the third one, they knocked it out of the park, Blue Easter Cult, Secret Treaties. Yeah, this was my very first Blue Easter Cult album I ever bought. And I was a fan, 1975. 
Okay, number three. This band, unlike some of these other bands and solo artists I've, met, I've mentioned, their first two albums, at least for me, were not very good, and I, I don't even have them in my collection. But this has to be one of the greatest, you know, comparing it to their to the album before or the first two albums. One of the greatest albums for a third release. It is Super Tramp, Crime of the Century, a perfect album. Way to go, Super Cramp. I mean, Tramp. Who do you think are number one and number two? Well, number two, the first album, once again, one of my all-time favorite debut albums. The second one, I think I love even more than the first one. And the third one is the one that really got them known. Uh, and it's, it's considered by many to be their best album. I don't know if it is for me, but it, you know, it's, it's right up there for sure. It is Sparks, Kimono My House. I think I've talked about them a few times. <laughs> Number one, the best third album of anyone. The debut was awesome. The second album was great too. But the third one, The Beatles, A Hard Day's Night. All songs by John and Paul. That's right. Yeah, John, John was especially on fire for this album. Just, you know, the uh, with the Beatles, that was a great album. But there were, just like the, the debut, Please Please Me, you know, a few cover songs. This doesn't have any cover songs. It's all written by the Beatles. And, you know, back in the day, there weren't too many bands where they were writing all of the songs on an album. But the Beatles certainly were. And so this is the number one third album. Just, you know, the uh, with the Beatles, that was a great album, but there were, just like the, the debut Please Please Me, you know, a few cover songs. This doesn't have any cover songs. It's all written by the Beatles, and, you know, back in the day, there weren't too many bands where they were writing all of the songs on an album, but the Beatles certainly were. And so this is the number one third album. And that's it. What are some of your favorite third albums? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.